Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the iOS 10 Beta 1 on the iPhone SE, the pink iPhone SE that I have. So, yeah, let's just take a look here how it's running on this small little boy, which is powerful uh, on the inside. So, uh, I know a lot of people have iPhone SE and I know a lot of people are interested in uh, um, installing the Beta 1. So, uh, let's see how everything is working. So, let's check the race to wake feature here. And okay, okay, so it's working, it's working, that's good. So you can swipe to the right and uh, see all your widgets and uh, the series suggestions, your recently used application basically, which you can touch and then enter your passcode and you can go directly to that application from here. Pretty nice and a pretty time saving too. So we also have the edit button here so you can remove certain widgets if you want to from the lock screen. It is pretty nice. You can also see the time and the day, the month and the date. Uh, swiping to the left, we got the camera. Okay, so camera is pretty nice. It's pretty same as before. Uh, we can just go back and unlock the phone. Now you don't have to um, do the slide to unlock because now you have to press the home button in order to unlock your phone. So if we just compare it side by side with the iPhone 6 Air that I have which is running iOS 9, you can see generally look wise they are looking pretty much the same. Uh, the notification panel, you can see it's now changed. I can uh, uh, take a look here at all my notifications in a more cleaner look, you know, it's like more easier to see. I can just touch them, I can I can just do like swipe thing, you know, swiping to the left here, I can see the post, I can also clear it, and swiping to the right, nothing happens. I can just touch them and they take me directly to uh, to the to the app and uh, with the iPhone 6s you can uh, do the 3d touch thing if you want to but of course since the se doesn't have the 3d touch so you have to touch that and uh, also you can see uh, with the iOS uh, compared to iOS 9 looking uh, neat and same thing the neat control center we have and yeah that's pretty much it look wise of course some new additions we have like raised to wake feature now we also get the home app also on the iPhone SE it's working fine um, you, basically you can manage and control all your connected accessories with this pretty cool um, app store and other stuff pretty much the same main changes to the photos app uh, you get uh, let's see yeah you do get all that stuff um, we have a new powerful search engine, so basically it's going to gather all your photos according to the dates, you know. Um, if you have gone to a certain trip and you have captured a lot of photos, it's going to make an album type thing, you know, and, um, and you know, gather them date-wise. These are all my pictures I can see here, and I can go into Memories, which is a new edition. If I click Get Started, and it's going to take a, take a second to scan and then it gonna it's gonna make uh, uh, a memory type of thing a memory a picture's memory um, of the of, of, of a certain time frame so you can see it says best of last three months if I just go in and I can see all my photos and when I play it crashes it's the same thing with the iPhone 6s happening on the iPhone SE uh, good thing you can uninstall all the uh, you know the the stock applications except the messaging and the phone dialer so you can even uninstall their default mail client which is pretty pretty nice uh, but I mean I mean to say the mail client is pretty nice so I don't know why someone want to uninstall that so you can see I'm just gonna remove it so you do have a little bit of bugs here and there because of course it's a beta one so you can't expect that much of uh, things out of it uh, music app redesign uh, different things we have radio for you browse different you know sections yeah that is pretty much it uh, and the good thing it's working fine on the iOS uh, or I mean to say on the iPhone SE so you can install it uh, it's, uh, it's beta 1 few bugs of course if you are a crybaby then don't install I don't encourage you but if you install it you're definitely going to enjoy the new look here and same thing here if you swipe to the right below the search bar you got all your widgets just like you have this access on the lock screen 
and this is how the phone dollar looks like pretty neat uh, I don't think we have any change there except now it can um, spam some number you know uh, some unknown numbers automatically uh, if they are spamming you so that's pretty cool uh, we can go into settings and uh, take a look here uh, if we check out the display and brightness you can see race to wake feature is there you can turn it off if you want to now the Siri uh, settings are now outside the general tab which is good you can access that battery section is pretty much the same you can also turn on the night mode you know directly from the col uh, control center if you want to and makes the screen a little bit yellowish you can just turn it off so overall it's a great 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 update uh, look wise it's not that changed except some few changes to the lock screen and the 3, uh, 3D touch thing with the iPhone 6s and also changes with the music app and the maps app you know which is now more accurate and it's gonna work with the, it's, it's open for third-party developers which is great so um, we can just go into the messaging app and uh, basically I didn't show you the keyboard on my 6s video uh, so I'm just gonna show you guys the keyboard here which is a big big uh, update here for this keyboard you know with the iOS 10 uh, you get bigger emojis uh, let's see if we type something burger you can see now it shows me the emoji of the burger and it's now you know looking bigger and you can like play videos directly in the messaging uh, app which is pretty cool and like i said this app uh, the messaging app is also open for developers to work on pretty nice camera and also uh, we have this uh, sketch type of thing where you can draw some sketches so i think this is some pretty 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 badass stuff that apple has done uh you know lots of great effects are also there um pretty nice pretty nice overall so yeah now i showed you the keyboard uh yeah that is pretty much it uh we can also just take a quick look at the at the power off menu okay so let me just quickly open my iphone and you can see the power off menu looks pretty much the same so that's it guys i really hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, i'm going to be doing the review on the 6 and the 5s and hopefully we're going to talk about um the performances on those iphone and uh, yeah catch you guys in the next one peace out